Fun, gorgeous, abundant, magical. We see the ocean as all these things and more, but the startling fact is that the oceans are suffering. The human race has unknowingly filled the ocean with plastic pollution. Plastic is a petroleum-based product. It lasts four to seven hundred years in the ocean. It disrupts the natural hormones in our bodies and affects our abilities to have children. Some of these plastic pieces are big, some can only be seen with a microscope, and it's all bad. Making things worse, chemical pollutants like pesticides and manufacturing runoff stick to these pieces of plastic, making them even more toxic. Fish and sea creatures eat these poison particles, and many of them are starving to death, their bellies filled with indigestible plastic instead of the nutritious food they need to survive. Many of these fish find their way to our dinner table by eating these now toxic fish who are poisoning ourselves. Even if you don't eat fish, the oceans support you by providing over half of the oxygen that we breathe. Your body is made up of 72% water. The Earth's surface is 72% water. Our sweat is salt water. Our tears are salt water. Our blood has nearly the same salt content as the ocean. What we do to the oceans, we do to ourselves. Cancer rates are up. More and more people are having trouble conceiving. But it doesn't have to be this way. Let me introduce you to Richard Sundance Owen. In 2008, Rich decided he'd had enough. He founded the Environmental Cleanup Coalition with the mission to put a stop to all this plastic pollution and to clean up the messes we've already made. Over the past five years, Rich and the Environmental Cleanup Coalition have worked tirelessly to contribute to research, to develop solutions, to educate as many people as possible, and to get the community involved in solving this problem. The ECC has participated in research expeditions to learn more about the scope of plastic pollution. They've launched community initiatives like the CSA Aquaponics Program, which helps local communities raise their own fish and vegetables to take the burden off the ocean to produce our food. They've also put together fun community awareness events, like the Trash and Fashion Show, which brings together creative teens, local businesses, and community leaders for a night of education and celebration. Now, all the oceans are connected. The Earth is a closed system. Water on Earth today is the same water that's been here forever. It can't go anywhere, and it can't come from anywhere. Plastic pollution is very serious, and at the same time, very solvable. If we are the problem, then we can be the solution. That is the good news. We can turn this around. Our next step is to assist in the development of technologies that we need to actually get the plastic and pollutants out of the oceans and we need your help to do so. Please use our website, www.gyrecleanup.org to educate and inform yourself, then share the knowledge. Give what you can and invite your friends to do the same. We have faith in the human race's ability to rise to the challenge. Many hands make light work. Together, we can solve this.